Yo, 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 we back. What's up? What's we back? Up, what's up, world? Hey, what's guess going what? On? Guess what today is? Today guess is. what today is? Guess what today is? Guess what today is? Guess what today is? What today is? It's time for the two, two, four podcast. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yes, sir. It's the two, two, four podcast. It's your boy Jay. You already know what the fuck it is. Two, two, four shit. Yes. Listen, man. Yes, yes, yes. Let's jump in the news today because I know people who voted for this nigga is going to be very, very happy. Uh-huh. Because happy. Cuz is now blessing us with the tidings mm. of a $1,400 check mm. per motherfucking person. Be you. Well, some of us can't get that shit because we now make too much. We got some before. Yep. But now niggas make too much. And we can't get it. So if you survived the pandemic by actually hustling and making money during this pandemic, you are now disqualified from getting the free money from the government. So congrats. President <laughs> Good job, America. Joseph Robinette Biden. Mm -hmm. Also Nigga, known his name is Robinette. Also known as Jim Crow Joe. Jim Crow Joe, <laughs> aka Touchy Philly Joe. <laughs> AKA, no means no Joe. No means no Joe. <laughs> AKA let me sniff a little bit, Joe. AKA sexual harassment, <laughs> sexual assault, Joe. All right. That's how, because listen, Democrats do it too. That's right. So, surprise, uh, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, President Biden signed the $1.9 trillion uh, Stimulus, uh, stimulus uh, mm -hmm. package. This is the third one. Yep. Even though uh, it's been countries in on, on this planet that's been getting uh, monthly checks yep. uh, since the shit started. Since it started. But don't yep. worry. But the, that's not the here nor there anymore. We argued that already. You yep. know, we already know that this place is you know, America. America. So <laughs> America. <laughs> they signed it in the day, man, and, and this the checks gonna be coming out soon for yeah. the niggas who yeah. qualify are, for it. But right. here, here's a problem with it because yep. when Democrats start. You know, going through their legislative process, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They start conceding a lot of shit. Yep, I've noticed this so much, and they say we're we're trying to work with these people. The Republicans won't <laughs> work with you at all. Shit, the Republicans are let the fucking country burn <laughs> to the <laughs> ground they before sure they budge on anything. They, I don't give a fuck what it is. It's a couple of dollars now. Hell, that's it. That. That's it. The Republicans be like. The fellas would be like, the Democrats requested seven pencils. We said six. That's all they're getting is six damn pencils. Terry Crews in the corner. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> six pencils. Freedom! Fuck that last seven pencil. They don't get that seven pencil. They get no. They the, get six. That's what we agreed six on. Six pencils is freedom. Six. Seven pencils. Seven pencils is socialism. <laughs> that's it. That's all you get. Six. Six pencils. <laughs> I don't give a damn. What? Right? Well, there's seven cents. So, it doesn't matter. They it's always like, concede shit, man. Mm -hmm. They always concede shit. They never, they never, never, share power. never, they never hold their ground. Yep. They, uh -huh. they let's concede. share the power. They share Why power. the fuck did you hear the Republicans say that shit in the last never, never. seven years? Never, ever, ever. The Republicans was holding nuts. I ain't conceding shit. Concede yeah. these nuts. Concede these. Bitch ass niggas. That's it. They were holding them. Nut ass, nut, <laughs> nut ass niggas. They, they was holding them hard, fuck too. It. What kind of weirdo you take me for? Come on. Concede what, motherfucker? Where? <laughs> fuck out of here. Where? So, your boy Joseph Biden, mm -hmm. President Biden. Let me let me put some a little bit of respect, respect on his name. Uh, I did this. I did it with Trump. I call him President Trump. I don't, I don't like either one of the motherfuckers, but I did. Respect. But that's what the fuck they are. Respect. So you got you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, the uh, uh, third check uh is um fourteen hundred, and they expanded the child tax credit uh. You know what I mean? So everybody, everybody, whoever mm -hmm. the dependent, everybody on the motherfucking get tax return gets uh gets the fourteen hundred. The fourteen hundred. If you if you apply, uh, if you if you hit the the mark to get the fourteen hundred, I think it's if you made like over eighty eighty grand, you don't get it. So you know. Oh wow! Yeah. Most of us niggas ain't getting it. You know what I'm saying? Well. Yes, you know, and, and you know it is what it is, bro. Fuck it. Bro. <laughs> I man, <laughs> I think it sounds salty right now, bro. Like, <laughs> God, damn, man, I'm fourteen of you did that count real nice. <gasps> little pad, little little fluff. But for those of us who are receiving the fourteen hundred, uh, please don't spend it on cognac and Jays, bro. Just, please, don't, just don't, don't. Don't. That's just, just gonna make niggas who's not getting it more pissed off. Just than niggas already is. <laughs> just. Don't, don't listen, bro. You can create a business with that shit. Please do. 
I mean, you already at this point you should have already got your tax money. You should thank you. So if you're not hurting, mm -hmm. okay, or if you're not not living, if you're not living paycheck to paycheck, yes. If if your bills caught up, yeah, and you and you and you qualify to get this shit, man, you got like four motherfucking dependents. You and your husband on the, you getting like ten grand basically. Yeah, start a business, bro. That's right. Or mm-hmm. if you got bad credit and you got some fucked up credit, pay some not some of that shit now, man. There you go. Do not fuck your tax money up. Make some future decisions. Please don't do that shit. Make some decisions do that your future self would thank you for. That's exactly what they thank want you, you to do. That's exactly what they because want listen, you to do. Because listen, because that's why they call it a stimulus check and not a relief check, y'all. Because right. they want y'all to stimulate the economy. Because they know y'all going to burn through that cash. They know that little 1400 and they're going to be like, yes, let's pay them that if so they can turn it right around and get right really smart, niggas will take that whole check and throw that bitch into an investment. Mm. Some crypto yeah. or something else that they, they, if you watching this shit going you, up. I'm going to say, you watching the stocks. You watching up. it going up. Yeah. That shit by the end of the year could be like 50, 60, 70. That's right. That's right. You know what I mean? And so right. if you don't need it, yep. Because they want you to save this shit. Fuck right. them and make it work for me. You know and, what I mean? FYI, but, pharmaceuticals is hot right now. They're coming I mean, out with more and more vaccines. But listen, the CDC said they're going to allow at least six that. or seven more vaccines the to come out. The time about to hit, Texas is 100% open now. Yeah. Niggas going to be like, fuck that. I need my motherfucking summer motherfucking yep. clothes. No. Yep. I got to go to the mall and get it. I'm telling you. And then you're going to be, <laughs> <in> this, <laughs> you're gonna be fucked up, but you're going to be, you're going to look good. You're going to look good. And them J's and that Matthew Dick and Dicky outfit, but, but your bank account going to say zero. So you, so again, you're going to look rich and be poor. That doesn't Dickie's make any sense. Back? Dickie's, Dickie's made a, re, a return for some, some yeah, why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I never Damn. thought they were in style. If you ask me, I know the niggas out West where that's the, that's the, shit. well, well, let's get yeah, that. That's the armor for everybody out there gangbanging. Yeah, that's, but he's got to go put the I, armor on I, everywhere. Else, I was like, I thought that shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In, fact, in fact, funny story way back in 2004, uh, we had a classmate of mine, dark skinned brother. In fact, ATL, my ex roommate, uh, we we laughed him out of the cafeteria because he came in with an all red dicky jumpsuit on. <laughs> we checked him right out the cafeteria. <laughs> he went home for lunch break, never came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. But but like I said, man, the 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 the, the Democrats conceded on a lot of shit. So one of the biggest things they conceded on, oh yeah, was um was that um the unemployment benefits mm. uh. Those were set to expire March 14th. Okay. Right? Yep. So, uh, they're not going to expire March 14th. Which would have been this Saturday, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Which would have been, which would no, Sunday. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're going to let those, uh, unemployment benefits keep going, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, they wanted to end it at August. Okay. Um, but they're going to extend it through September 6th, mm. which is only a fucking week more. But the fucked up thing was they, they decreased it a hundred dollars. Mm. So people, so were, people not were getting 400 no more. Yeah. It's 300. Now. And some people were getting 300. So now it's only 200. No, right? no, no. Everybody was getting 400. Everybody was getting 400. Okay. I everybody people, was getting 400. I thought some people were getting, were getting, and it's 400 a week. It was, it was yeah. So you, so you get your unemployment benefits from the state and then the, and then the federal was throwing in another four hundred. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know what I mean? Okay, all right. But um, but now they're doing. You only get three hundred a week from the federal government, and then whatever else you get from your state. From your state, okay. So it is what it is on that. Um, but yeah, that's that's that's, and again, that's fucked up because, like, no one like if you're still going through, it's not just because Texas is all the way open. Don't mean that the shit is over with. Like. Mm-mm. Texas is going to be, uh, te- hey, listen, everybody looking at Texas now. That's the motherfucking test dummy. Yep. Like, okay, we'll see. If the shit, shit starts spiking up. <laughs> Georgia been fully open since last July. <laughs> I don't think niggas in Georgia, Georgia know. Georgia need to close down. Yeah, yeah. I don't think niggas in Georgia know it's a pandemic. Because <laughs> Atlanta, you, you go to the Lynx Mall and everything still. Camp, niggas don't get fucked. Kim was like, nah. We good. We gonna open this back up in August. Uh, sir, the pandemic's still spiking. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> not. <laughs> nothing wrong. That nigga said nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. <laughs> that's <laughs> open up with love. <laughs> open up the state with love. Well, yeah, Georgia been open since last it's year. So, yo, so, so, I, so I don't luck, know, Texas. man. But you know, this is good luck, Texas. It's hot too. Whew. Yeah, it basically it's um it's a bittersweet bill again because 
they should have been doing this shit from the jump. Yeah. Because the first bill was like two point four trillion. Uh huh. And it had all this other shit inside of it, like yeah. hey, all here's this PPP loan shit. Yeah, this all shit, this other funding shit. for other Let's, things. Yeah. Fuck out of here, man. Why don't you just get all that money to the people? Yeah. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. they signed a bunch of shit they had to save the stock market. Oh yeah. Again. That's more important. The stock that's, market that's is more important than market. everybody. And the banks, of course. It's it's one thing to be like the stock market is more important than a a person. Yep. Or maybe a group of people, specifically if that group of people isn't the majority of the country. That's right. But to say the fucking stock market is more important than everybody. Yeah, more important than America. Come on, bro. Yeah. That's, come on, bro. Everybody. Because the American they, stock market, they say, runs the global economy. It's the meter. Fuck the It's the bar. The it's, the, it's the standard. What did nigga say off of, uh, It's the gold off, standard, um, sir. Head of state, that nigga said, God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no place else. else. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. I don't give a fuck about what the fuck England's doing at this time. Nigga. I'm not getting a check from England. Nope. That, was the, that was the problem with the second uh, stimulus uh, package. Uh-huh. They're giving funding to other countries. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck you sending money That's over right. there for? That's right. That's right. Hey, look, I, listen, I, I, listen, Saudi I, Arabia, all I'm that. Sorry we, for, we constantly I'm, giving them. I'm uh, sorry for the niggas in, in Saudi. I'm sorry for the niggas in Ghana and all that shit like that. But listen, man, nigga. Uh-huh. Don't send that money over there, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the oh, fuck that's, is wrong with you? That's it, man. The fuck is wrong with you? You don't send man. that money over there, man. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Right, man. I'm this nigga's over man. here starving now. Starving. So, so the, the White House, they, you know, they think this shit is a win. It's like, bro, it's already a year too late. Like, yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. It's already a year too late, and it should have been more a year ago. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it, but it is what it is, man. People going, you know, hopefully, like I said, people take this money and if you don't motherfucking need it, if you really don't need it. That's right. Then don't blow that shit man, on a fake Gucci bag or. Tripping. We finna see extensions. We finna see some. We finna see a bunch of lace fronts. Some of you know, and I, you know, and again, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, not, you do not need another extendo on a motherfucking <laughs> on the on AR. Yeah. On nobody, a stick. You nope. don't need, you don't need another stick. No. Nope. Just. Nope. Take your fucking money. That's right. Make sure Get you do something right. with that shit. Get yeah. your credit together. Do something. Get your credit straight. Yeah. And take that money and flip it. Not Jeez. with drugs. <laughs> flip it legally. Hey, man. Listen. Invest in some shit. Do something. Start a business. Invest in yourself. Do something. Do something. Yeah. Do not take that money and waste it. Please I don't. Promise you. Please don't. Does it? No matter how this pandemic goes, mm-hmm. it could it could just fucking tunnel. We could just it, it, oh Texas open and all of a sudden some nigga in Texas can be the something wrong with his body and that nigga could turn into a mushroom cloud of a new COVID and that oh shit just God. spread <laughs> super spread. Oh my God! It's like 40 you ain't, weeks later. You ain't shit. yep. You ain't it's getting World no War Z. Mother, <laughs> they're not getting no more motherfucking money. I'm telling you, it's the it's last it. one. It's the they're last not signing any more. The, the last league. huzzah. The, the fucking Republicans are like, oh God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> 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 You're not getting any more. That's enough. I don't give a damn what's happening. I'm going to Como. <laughs> I'm going. To, I'm going to Cabo San Lucas. I see y'all I'm later. I'm, I'm going, going, going to motherfucking. I'm going to the. I'm going to Virgin now. I get the fuck out of here. See you motherfuckers later. God damn. <laughs> damn. Thanks, Senator. Ever see you later. <laughs> fuck out of here. So yeah, that's listen, it, man. That's, that's hopefully this shit can help niggas out, man. If y'all niggas down, obviously use your money to get yourself out the hole. Please do, do not use your fucking money to uh, trick off on somebody, anything like that. Don't do that. That's stupid yeah. as fuck. Yeah. Uh, and that's really it, man. Don't don't be stupid with your fucking money. Make Please. sure you take your money and and, and fourteen hundred dollars ain't a lot of money, y'all. Especially like, if, you, if it's just you, fourteen hundred dollars yeah. ain't shit. Yeah, but man. you could take fourteen hundred dollars right now. Let's say it's some cryptocurrency that's like at three cent. Yeah, but it's it's like driven off of. You know what I'm saying? Other cryptos, Bitcoin, maybe it's an Correct. altcoin. Yeah, maybe it's driven off a of Litecoin or some other shit like mm-hmm. that. And it, with Litecoin going up, that thing goes up. So Litecoin goes up from like 200 to 600. Yeah. That thing will go up from like 3 cent to like 40 cent, 45 cent. Super flip. So that's a 15 times flip. If yeah. You put the 1400 in there. That's if right. If you're just doing math. Uh-huh, because math that's is math. $21,500. Yep. Make sure mm-hmm. you're doing the right thing with that motherfucking check. You that's know right. what I mean? Because math. Don't just throw that shit yeah. away. Cause that's all we mad. saying. That's, that's all we saying. Please make sure you don't throw your check. Please, you don't need the. You, know I mean? you don't need hot wings. So what's, what's, the, what's the 
What's the What's the next story, my nigga? Let's let's, let's, get, let's get into it. Let's uh, the next story is going to be. Uh, we'll talk about this interesting yet horrific story about this teacher in, in Arkansas, in Arkansas. Okay, I ain't hear about this shit yet. Yeah, I mean, I just heard about it now because we yeah. want to talk about it. But right. I ain't, so I ain't hear about an this Arkansas shit teacher, a kindergarten teacher, is on administrative leave right now after allegedly requiring one of her kids to dig feces out of the toilet by hand. Okay. Uh, so I'm reading this. This one's actually coming from uh, The Hill. Uh, it's an Arkansas kindergarten teacher was placed on administrative leave after a student said that he she required him to dig the toilet for feces f- to unclog it. The school district confirmed that this was true this week and placed her on administrative leave. Right, you see the quote that the mom said? The mom, her name is uh, her name is Ashley Murray or the little boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? So she was like... Uh, this is unacceptable. I feel like she needs to be trained, suspended, or terminated or something because that's unacceptable, she said. I want my son to be in a safe environment, a good environment. Let me tell y'all niggas something right now. If that was my kid, that's not my statement. My statement would have been, Your Honor, I'm innocent. I did not stomp that bitch the fuck out. That would have been my motherfucking statement. Because if she made... Any one of my kids put their hands in some water with some shit in it, I would have put my hands on her. That's right. In a very violent and uncivilized motherfucking way. I would have choked the shit out of that bitch. That's that's really what I'm trying to say right that's, now. That's where it's And that's real shit. Now that's I'm where it comes down to. You can't this, this, this. Shut the fuck up. Yes. I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. She would have got the, I'm telling you. Fashy, oh, we would have put these paws on her. Listen, man, would have been nothing. So, so she. Listen, so that's crazy. She, so the story goes that she actually made this kindergartner stick his hand in. So I remember when I was in kindergarten, we didn't go to the, we didn't use every other bathroom. There was a bathroom in the room, right? So there's a bathroom yeah. in the room that all the kind of gets a smaller yep. toilet. It's like this little tiny miniature bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So she made this young man go in there with his hands and unclog the toilet. It says bare hands, and it says confirmed that it was bare hands. It says that she didn't give him gloves, she didn't give him a plunger, she didn't give him a ruler, a stick, or nothing. To all these parents at home, I can't wait to this shit over so I can send my kids back to school so I can send my kids. This is the fuck y'all going to send them to? Y'all niggas so desperate for fucking babysitters that you do not even know who the fuck is babysitting your, your children? This, this teacher, teacher should have been yo. vetted. This teacher definitely should have been vetted. Because all kids should be vetted. Yeah. I'm just saying, this this bitch, the, even the mom wilding out. Even the mom wilding. She should be trained. Trained what? That, how the fuck you go from there? You make my son big shit out of a toilet with his bare hands? No, lady, we got to you know, come see you me. You have, you must. You gotta come you see me. You must come see me. Oh, I gotta see somebody. Somebody. The principal. Someone, someone, someone will be seen. Someone will be seen. Someone will be seen. Principal, superintendent, somebody. The school officer oh. can get it. Oh. Hey, anybody. The janitor can get it. Check I'm out the text. The the superintendent. Right? The, the superintendent is named Charles McNulty, right? He released a statement saying that, uh, we have these events that touch our humanity and affect us deeply. They reach us so personally, they root themselves in institutional and systematic systematic racism, classism, sexism, and they play a part in our daily lives. And sometimes these events overshadow who we are and who we need to be. What, what? the fuck are you talking about, nigga? What are you talking what? about? What the fuck was that statement about? What? You know, that, is, that is in the defense of the teacher. That has got to be in the defense of the teacher because what a root... They root themselves in I, I want in to laugh a little bit when I need to say root because I say roto rooter. <laughs> root. <laughs> they need a root. They need a root. Oh, damn. She's like, he is a plunger, nigga. <laughs> that, oh, oh, no. No. She said that nigga is antique farm equipment and, and antique and plumbing I'm equipment. I'm telling you, yo. That's so, so fuck And she is an alumnus of the University alumni, of Arkansas. Nigga. Well, you, you can say alumnus, can't you? I don't even know if that's I a think, word. I, that alumnus is a word. <laughs> <laughs> she is, she is, a, she uh, is an alumni, alumni nigga. She is an alumni of the University of Arkansas. So what they teaching out there? What they teach? Are they, are they teaching that in the in the University of Arkansas, right? Yeah, you have to ask my nigga. See, and I got family in Arkansas, my nigga. I love Arkansas. Oh, Pine yeah. Bluff, what's up? Oh, yeah. from the shale. You know what I'm saying? Pine Bluff, what's up? Pine Bluff, shale. You know what I mean, Little Rock, what's up? What's happening? Uh, 
You know what I mean? Shout out to Lil Rock and Power Bluff, but uh but yeah, this this some wild shit, man. This is Yo. some wild, this some wild Listen, but you know stuff. what? I'm trying to think as an adult, what was the thought process to her say, get your tiny little hands? I know she was angry with the little nigga. Was like, oh, I got some for you, little nigga but, ass. But, but, why I, I don't know. Like, you know, he probably, know. he probably got the best. He probably was doing a TikTok dance in the middle of class. Yeah. And he had the whole class rowdy. Yeah. That she couldn't handle it. She got the ass. Fuck it, this morning. <laughs> he, they, they was like, go little Ron. Go yeah, little Ron. Go little Ron. He was dancing and shit. And she was like, shut up, sit down. That nigga was like, Corvette, Corvette. Hop in the motherfucker. Yeah. He was, he was, he was getting that shit. He was, ah, he's like, sit down, damn, I like, sit down. He started a Pee Wee riot. He started a toddler <laughs> riot in that motherfucker. That's what happened. No, it's probably some shit like, he was, he was probably in class and he probably one of those students that, you know, need a little more help. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he probably couldn't get some shit. And he probably went to the bathroom. He got some, you know, might have some little behavioral uh, issues. He might have pissed all over the toilet and shit. Yeah, he might have shit in the toilet and then, like, didn't wipe his ass or some shit like that. Like, that's some shit that you, like, that you need, like, listen, you need to call a parent. Hey, come get your son. That's, that's, you know what I mean? That's what you're supposed to do. That's a conversation. She, was, she yeah. got mad on She probably would tie him, like, yo, listen, fuck this shit, little <laughs> nigga. out of this shit. Motherfucking little stinking ass little <laughs> niggas out there. Like, get that in there. Get that shit out of my toilet. <laughs> And made him dig his shit out with his bare hands. And it's like, damn, she had, she made the little boy Shawshank. Like That's some crazy shit. She Shawshanked him. But what she people, but what people are trying to say is, is this shit racist or not? And it's like, my nigga, that depends. You know what I mean? We don't know for sure if it's right because we don't know the extent of the story. And obviously we're not going to get the full extent of the story because Clearly. The stories between a fucking adult and a goddamn five year old. So you're not gonna exactly. he can't he can't even properly explain contextually what the fuck was going on. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So you're not yeah. So he can't be like, oh that was definitely racist. That bitch was that bitch called me a she, nigga the whole, time, the whole mama. time, mama. Called me a nigga the you whole time. Saying? The whole what, time. What I'm saying is what I'm saying is this right here. You have to go back now, you have to go back in her record now mm-hmm. and see how she treats Everyone else. Everyone else. Yeah. You know all, what I mean? All our other students. Right. And yeah. you got to look at it from, and it's fucked up that you got to now, but she made a little young black boy dig feces out of a toilet. For, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that with nobody. You, I was getting ready to say that. I was so, getting ready to say that. So, like, regardless, regardless of what race it is, if you wouldn't do that to I someone in your nobody. family, I wouldn't do it to a five-year-old in my family. Like, you know, there's no five-year-old. It doesn't matter if this is my family or not, but that's, that's the consideration I'm talking about. She she knew at that moment that if she had a niece or a nephew and she was like, I wouldn't let my niece or nephew do this. Why would you do this in this environment with your professional title on the line and against this young man? Why would you even why would you even consider it? Why it would, bro? That's what I'm saying. Sometimes yeah. bro, niggas get so angry, mm-hmm. you know what that I mean? logic go right out the window. The logic should go out the window and they bring out the fucking evil in you. Like, yeah, it's yep. Racist or not, this is an evil bitch. How about that? Thank you. Racist or Thank not, thank you. This is an evil motherfucker. Straight you, up. A I, don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck what nobody said. You can, you can, y'all can dice up all that racism shit y'all if y'all want to. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Y'all want to call a bitch racist? All right, she racist. Whatever. But I know this motherfucker evil. Cause you don't make a five year old dig shit out of a toilet, man, with his bare hands. Simply That's fucking don't. wild, bro. That's it. So and if she, I was just, if I was that kid, mother, bro, like straight, straight, straight up, that was my kid, bro. I'm telling you, I'd be in handcuffs. There's no way that my kid could come home and say that to me, and that lady not catch the beats, bro. I promise you, the lady would have got that shit if it was mine. Yeah. But that's the that's the problem. It's like these parents, because maybe you know what I mean, like. Because these parents need these schools more than the schools need the parents, you know what I mean? Yeah. I need to send my kid off. It was like, this lady need to be trained. What? That's what the mom said. The lady need to be trained. What that, more there's training? There's no class of training. First of that's all, whole training. Oh, yo, you took right out of my mouth. Yo, you took training. the words right out of my that's mouth. That's whole training, bro. There's and no. And she didn't train. get that shit from home. It's, 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 come on, there's man. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do about that. Nothing you can do. Nothing. Nothing. Suspending a lady or, fi- oh, you know what I'm saying, terminating a lady, period, not going to take that incident away from your child. Your child went through that shit. The lady got to catch the hands, bro. And even, the, even her catching the hands not going to take the experience away from your kid. Absolutely. But God damn it, 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 it listen. Yeah. She going she gonna, to she gotta go through it. No one else huh? will go through Yo. what my son went through after I put these hands on you. Listen. After I stomp you out vigorously. I beat you to the point where you, when you about to do that shit again, <laughs> I'll make you do it. You got a tip now. You got a little. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> like, that bitch have a goddamn aneurysm fucking with me. Absolutely. You can't she, she won't even be able to take this shit no more. Every time she, she look at shit, oh, bad emotions. <laughs> That mother that have flashbacks. Like that's it. I need a colostomy bag. She gets. She ain't gonna yeah. go to the bathroom for the rest of her life. She do this shit she from go. South Park. She'll shit out of her mouth. She got her ass. She shit out of her mouth. Yeah. That motherfucker backwards, bro. Oh I, my I god. I promise you, bro. It's yo, not, oh my god. You can't. You can't do shit like that. No, man. you really can't. She. That's um. Yo. That's mom. Her. Dude's drawling, bro. For real. Yeah. That's 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 what I think. For her, for her to say that the teacher needed training or she needs to be suspended. Or fired or whatever. Listen, fired is the least of what needs to happen. Let's talk about the health ramifications that we're talking about here. Hey, have you ever seen what five year olds do with their bodies my, and mouths my and nigger. their food? Have you ever seen my what they nigger. do with their food? Listen, bro. Like, what listen, bro. They they said they, they confirmed the story. You know what they they didn't confirm what? whether that was his shit or not. <laughs> 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 Yo, it's this season. This season got to get it, bro. I'm on to the point where I'm like, fuck it. I got family in Arkansas. We just need to drive down there and just handle business for this thing. For the culture, my nigga, like, what the fuck? That might not even be his shit. Oh my god! Oh, that's horrible. That might not even be his shit. Boy, listen, we all had that low fat classmate when we were kids. This what if it was his? Anything. We had Rufus. Hey, I got you better get it. Rufus. Just came out of here. I ain't finna go in there. <laughs> you gotta go in there and dig in the toilet box. Rufus got a goddamn bulker in that motherfucker. <laughs> Rufus got a bad guy. His mama gives him. Capri Suns, fruit roll ups, <laughs> <laughs> Oreos dipped in goddamn <laughs> banana pudding. Like, this nigga eat all kinds of shit. Rufus, he eats spaghetti for breakfast. I didn't eat the food. What's the name of that? Like that Rufus rotisserie chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a piece of chicken. No, a whole rotisserie. Oh, yeah, Rufus ate a whole rotisserie. He's five. He's he ate a whole rotisserie chicken. I'm telling you, he's got no dietary limitations. No, no, nothing. Whatsoever. And you got to go in there and dig in there behind him. Him? Rufus in there dropping off them construction worker grown men logs. That nigga got a lawsuit <laughs> against motherfucking Olive Garden for the all you can eat salad in the Because that nigga to stop. And like, get this nigga out of here. He's fucking up the inventory. <laughs> get this nigga out of here, man. He's fine. Why is he eating that much, man? Yeah, boy, listen. And, and, he, and, he, and, he, and little, and little cuz had to go pick his shit up by the toilet. That's it. I'm talking about, come on, man. That's the, I don't even, that's, that, that's the shit that's bothering me now. Like, yeah. It wasn't it even his shit. It probably wasn't. I, I want to. I'm gonna say we're gonna we're gonna go out on a limb here and say 90 percent of the 90. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be somebody like the teacher got tired of motherfuckers going into the bathroom and not flushing, so she thought maybe he did it, and she's like, "Pick that shit up by the toilet." There's no he's like, "No, it's him. It's there's no, there's no justification." Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Miss Teacher Lady, that ain't mine. That ain't mine. Uh, that nigga look at that nigga like, oh, uh, oh. he probably uh, loving that shit. Look yeah. at that shit. Yeah, yeah. I guess I ate all the corn and the lunch, lady. That's uh, that shit, too. Ain't the nobody got a honey bun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Rufus, nobody got a honey bun. Nobody got a honey bun. Got no honey bun. That's, Damn, yo, why your shoes leaning? Tie your shoes up. We, we, make a, we make it fun of this shit, bro, but it's not funny. That's not funny at, at all. all, bro. Again, like like you said, you somebody else's feces, bro, it, and he had to clean it with feces. It, and, and the report says feces and toilet paper. So that means somebody wiped and didn't flush. Good God. The travesty, man. And the superintendent trying to cover it up to my systematic racism, classism, and sexism. So, the, then, so, the, so then, the, if that's the case, why you hire that guy? Why, why is that lady working for you? The bro, that, no, bro, that, that statement was PR like a motherfucker. Yeah. They didn't even address the issue. Yeah. But the little boy grandmother, Tammy Murray, uh-huh. uh huh, said on Facebook that yeah, you know she smoked Vinny. Yeah, her name Tammy. Tammy. She smoked them long. She don't even call her Tamela. Her name Tammy. Tammy. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's spelled that way. Too. Yeah, T A M I <laughs> Tammy. It ain't even T A M N Y. It's a, it's a nigga Tammy. T A M I nigga. She like, yeah, baby. Let me tell you about this little stinking bitch at the school. <laughs> Let me tell you about that little stinking white bitch. <laughs> stinking devil hoe. Like that's <laughs> smoking on them long ass Virginia Slims or Newport 100. That's it. The Cadillacs. <laughs> Let me tell you something about that stinking racist bitch. Get that to my bitch. So this is what Tammy said. Tammy was like, uh, she did that shit to degrade and belittle him either because he black or she didn't like him. She's like, I don't know if he, uh, I don't know if it's racism or pure dislike for him. But something isn't right. That's what her post says. Yeah. Um, and and listen, it it could be that. You know what I mean? I, I'm not sitting here debating whether that shit racism or not. 
Yeah. And I'm not sitting here debating whether she liked the little boy or not. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, she had some disdain for the little nigga because she made him go in the toilet and dig out shit with his bad hands. What I do know is this motherfucker evil, bro. And that's all it is to it. Because you, if you not evil, you would never make a fucking five-year-old child do anything like that, bro. That's real shit. You could be mad as fuck. Listen. And listen. I'm not... Oh, this story sucks. This and, story and, sucks and, and, and so I'm, bad. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't spank my kids, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, when my, when my kids talk to me, they go, yes, sir, no, so, you know what I mean? They, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. How, that's, that's, how, that's how I train them. Respect, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, and I don't have to beat them for that shit. I don't have to spank on nobody. Yeah. But if a motherfucker spank their kids, you know what I'm saying? That's your kids to each his own, you know what I mean? Do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, I, I'm not, I wouldn't, but I can't, t I can't tell you what to do in your household with your kids. Um, but I tell you, I tell you one thing. <clears throat> if I, if I ever heard somebody, if I ever heard of somebody, uh, Making their kids dig shit out of their toilet with their bare hands. I don't give a fuck where you from. I don't give a fuck what household you in. Yeah, you fuck I, up. I'm, 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 I'm like, listen, yeah, man. You a piece of shit. You a piece, you a piece of, of shit. shit. You, what, you, what, what you having them dig for is exactly what you are. Yeah, real rap. You a piece of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Piece and that, and, that, and that's what it, and that's, that's what it is, bro. And this lady, like I said, this lady evil, bro. What were you about the, to say, man? The principal told the mom, and I, I just read this and I, I was reading the story as right. we were going along. The principal says the mom, Miss Murray, said that she had a conference between her, the principal, and the teacher. Teacher didn't give her any explanation. She said, in fact, it was the lack of one that made her escalate this to the school board. But she said the principal came to the defense of the teacher and said that she stated that the, that the teacher was just trying to teach him how not to stop up a toilet. Excuse me? I learned my colors, my ABCs, how to tie my shoes, how to count to 50 when I was in kindergarten. I didn't, I don't, I didn't think them niggas taught me how to use Drano and how to use a plunger. I didn't know how to change brakes when I was a five year. Why am I doing custodial work? At, why is she teaching them custodial work in the kindergarten? That it was some straight bullshit and the principal need to go to. Nigga, the it, principal need to go to. That was, was some straight bullshit. There was another mother who, who wanted to remain anonymous saying that this shit is a common occurrence. And I'm saying, what's a common occurrence? Having little kids dig shit out of it? Yo, this, yeah, this shit getting worse and worse. Yeah. Yeah. Said the same thing happened to our daughter under a different teacher in the fall. Come on, first of all, lady, you should not be anonymous. You should you should put an address on that shit. Thank you. Put yeah. your name at, out there. At, 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 at the me. person who fucking yeah. at me. So we know it's real. That shit. You know what so I mean? So we know it's Straight real. Up. It should not be anonymous with shit like this, man. Yeah. You said you had, what kind of what, what the fuck is what? Did you get a fair one? That's the question I have. Did you get a fair one? <clears throat> Did someone come see? Did you come I'm see saying. somebody? Did somebody get busted in the head? That's this is, is Lil Rock. This ain't Lil Rock, yo. Okay. This guy, yo. This this is wild. This is a Lil Rock, bro. I, I, I'm saying, how in the fuck? How are these adults are these staying adults quiet? Adults not yeah. only staying quiet, but like, nobody caught any smoke over this shit? Nobody. Yo, this, for I, school? For education? That be, Crystal Hills or whatever school this is. Crystal, Crystal Hills. Yeah. Crystal Hills School better be... The most prestigious elementary Crystal school, Hill. and even if it's the most prestigious How elementary school, the most Rome. prestigious school, if they got kids <laughs> digging shit out the toilet, that's, listen, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, trying, trying, to, to I'm trying to justify, but you I can't, can't justify this. Shit. I'm trying to figure out why these why are these adults staying quiet against this school. If no. this is if this is habitual behavior, if this is habitual incidences or habit, habitual occurrences. Why are you staying quiet? Listen, what's, bro, what's going on after, here? After going through all this shit, man, after going through the whole story, uh, listen, the lady still, the teacher still, whoever, whatever teacher doing this shit to kids, you know what I mean? She still got a job. She's no, not, no, no, no. I'm saying that, that whatever teachers, because uh -huh. the, the anonymous mom, the scary mom, said it was a different scary, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's scary, scary, scary mom. Scary mom said that it was a different teacher. So these teachers, obviously, <laughs> came begging. <laughs> these motherfucking teachers on some other shit. And they run up <laughs> and they can't wait for a parent to run up on them. They can't wait. They like I'm I got your kids, I'm I'm kids digging shit out of the toilets with their bare hands. You lucky that's all I'm doing. And I want you to run up yeah. on me. You feel me? Stick on me at all, all times. times okay? I, I pop on on up. On my on, on the set, on the set, I'm turn your ass into a motherfucking pack and that's smoke right. your ass. Switch cheese your Listen. ass. Listen. Jesus Christ. This shit is insane. And they're bro. Sarah Notes. They must be Sarah Notes. 
there's no way an incident that happened in the fall about a kid digging feces out of a toilet. And then here it is in the spring, the same incident. These teachers mustn't, the teachers talk. Y'all all know that. Teachers lounge back in the G. Teachers always be in there talking coffee, telling about how they're yeah, smoking cigarettes and talking about how much they hate all of us. Yeah. Like, do you know they sharing notes? This teacher was like, let me yep. tell you what I did to Susie. I, I got, how I got her to cop, quit crapping on the floor. Yep. I went in there, I made her dig it off. I made her dig it. I made her dig it. And, 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 and she was like, that's a good idea. And, and I rubbed her fucking nose in it. Yeah. Oh my God. And I rubbed her nose in it. That's right. And her mother came up to the school talking that shit. I was like, this, what's up there? Run up. Drew down on that motherfucker. I said, what's up? You drew down on her mom? Yeah, I straight up pulled a stick down on her. Parent teacher conference. So, what's up? We had a conference right there in my classroom. PTA, nigga. Please try, nigga. Please try, nigga. Please try, nigga. PTA, please try, nigga. Straight up. Or PTA, parents, try again. Yeah. Try again. No, it's not right now. This ain't the time. You can try again. try again. Please try again. I told you that motherfucker, try Jesus. Don't try me. Real rap. That bitch came and ran up with me. I said, okay, what's up, baby? I That's pulled the right. shirt up. She saw the stick. She's like, I read it. Remain anonymous. <laughs> read it. Remain anonymous. Don't make me make you anonymous right That's now, right. motherfucker. Oh, Dang, that, and listen, so I, 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 like, like I said, those teachers <laughs> are fucking gang, evil. Dang it. The gang, but gang, the parents yeah. not going to really do nothing but uh, other than, oh, my God, this is terrible. Like, I don't know what's going on. My tax dollars don't go to this. Number one, the teacher should have been. I, I don't give a fuck. We should, you should have just been like, listen. You should have went to every fucking parent in that in that classroom and been like, the teacher yeah. been, nah, nah, yeah. no, fuck that. Before you get to, though, we need, obviously we got to get our kids out of this classroom and out yeah. of school. Yeah. But the teacher's making our kids dig up, uh, dig shit out the toilet. Uh, we need to, uh, just go ahead and jump that bitch. Right now. Like straight, like, I'm dead ass. And, and people keep saying, violence is not the way. Nah, it's violence no, is not the you way. Right. We are, we are, we are, we do live in a more civilized society. Violence shouldn't be the way. In most cases, but sometimes, sometimes, good, sometimes, like, but you, sometimes, rest in peace to the God. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes you just need to just go off on somebody's shit. You just right. rock somebody's shit. Sometimes. Real rest. Sometimes you cannot keep letting That's, people do that to your children and other children because these children see that shit, man, yeah. and they and they think if you're not going to really do nothing about that. They think shit like that. They're, they're, it's okay. It's, it's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna get to a point where it's gonna fuck their brains, and they think, okay, shit like that's okay. Then they're gonna start doing that to their children. Yep. You gotta stop the cycle, yep. bro. And if it take a motherfucker going to jail for the right cause, and that's what you gotta that's, do. That's what you gotta do. So, and as we've said before here on this on this podcast many a times, some people only respect three things. They only respect power, violence, and money. And sometimes that's the only way they can communicate. So if she needs violence to learn this lesson, I my five year old. Obviously, that was a violent act towards that kid. Right? Correct. Correct. Then, yeah. Vi- and I know violence begets violence. with shit. That's how well, I be. Sometimes. Well, she finna beget these hands. If you, if you <laughs> ran up on, if you if you try to run up on a bear cub, yeah, while the mama bear was sitting right there, you don't think that motherfucking uh eight hundred pound grizzly going. Come on, Come man. Come on, man. She ain't gonna sit there and Come be on, like, Come on, man. Let's talk about no, this. No, she ain't gonna sit there and say, you should be uh, training, training or training be better. You, you should be training how to handle my training. cub. How to handle my cub. <laughs> Don't rub on my cub. Or something. <laughs> that shit is not, it doesn't work like that, you man. You should be trained to handle my cub. Yo, come on, man. That, yeah, that's that real, y'all. That, that's that, that's yeah. wild, bro. So that, that was crazy. At the end of that shit, the, the moral of that story is, bro, it's evil people at these, school, at these schools, bro, for real. Yeah. And you, and you send your kids to these schools with these evil motherfuckers who you think are supposed to be teaching your kids, you know what I'm saying, how to process information, how to learn and shit. And they evil, bro. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, if you accept that shit, like these parents, I like the one parent was like, I don't accept it, but ain't really doing nothing about it except for going to social media thinking, uh, you know, heads a roll. Like yeah. that lady's still going to go somewhere. That's the, that lady still, you might, you might, inadvertently make that lady more of what she is. And that's the evil motherfucker because, because yeah. now she ain't got no job. Now yeah. she ain't, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. that's just going, you got, you got, man, she sometimes backlash from some bro, places, Sometimes yeah. a good old fashioned ass whooping from the community. Yeah. Solve all problems. Man. That's, and that's real shit. Yeah, so. Attitude no adjustment. That's all it is, bro. <laughs> it's a little attitude and, no and adjustment. It. But, but sometimes the community can be fucked up. Yeah. Which is what our next and last story is about today, ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen. Oh yeah, and uh, oh my god, they fuck. They keep fucking with my childhood, and I, I'm starting <laughs> to get pissed off a little bit, man. <laughs> Real shit, bro. Because you this cancel culture it. shit is it's been one too far. But my this, nigga. come on, man, you trying to cancel history? Like, and, and when I say like history, I'm talking about like 
things that were created 70, 80 years ago. For entertainment purposes, my for, nigga. Yeah, simple entertainment purposes. My so, nigga. so the new part, the new hurrah, the new banner for the cancel culture is they have now officially are trying to cancel the cartoon character known as Pepe Le Pew. No, they ain't, they ain't trying to. They officially did it. The nigga was in Space Jam. Uh, two. Uh, yeah, they removed they, they him from, Space, that Jam from Space Jam. Yep. They're not making any more cartoons with that nigga. No, nope. nothing. He nope. done. Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew done, the done. Skunk. Oh, so like, French skunk. For, let, let's just break this shit down, okay? <laughs> let's the break French all skunk. of it. Let's, let's, just, let's just break it down for a second, okay? First, let's <coughs> talk about the character Pepe Le Pew, okay? Yep. What he was, the character, how the character was designed. The, and developed, yeah. And developed, <clears throat> excuse me, in the fucking Looney, in the Looney Tune cartoons, right? Yeah. <clears throat> this nigga Pepe Le Pew is a skunk. A skunk. Who would mistake this black cat to uh-huh. be a skunk because this black cat would somehow always, always, always all the fucking time, all, all, always, a always, fucking always, white stripe always. painted on it, yeah, always. and it now looks like a female skunk. Always. So that nigga always. would be like, damn, that's a fine-ass skunk. Let me, then that nigga get, you know, he'll he'll start following her, kissing all up on that shit. She's like, yeah. nah, bro, I'm good with all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, how we took it when we grew up was mm-hmm. Pepe was super fucking thirsty. That's right. For another mm-hmm. companion skunk. That's right. Because had he known that this motherfucker was a cat, he would have been interested. Never fuck with him. He'd have never been here. Never in, fuck in, with in him. any interest whatsoever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, now Pepe, Le Pe- Pepe was super thirsty. Yeah. And that shit was like, damn, Pepe, you thirsty as fuck. You need to get the fuck. Like the day Chappelle said, that nigga said, oh, Pepe, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so it's been called out. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, Pepe was on the line of motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, Pepe, that shit looking a little rapey right now, my no, nigga. Like, like, for real. A bit rapey. But he never got the pussy. Mm-mm. He never took the pussy. Never. You know what I'm saying? No. Nothing like that. And then, and then what, what some people were saying online, on Twitter, what I was seeing, and some people were like, but it was always like he was in love with her. He would caress her. And he would hold her. He was like, some people would see that as romantic. He was just super infatuated with her. No, then, a, then the other <laughs> would be like, nah, he was trying to rape nah, her. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little, yeah, it's a little... It's a little rapey. Yeah, it's a little, little rapey. A little, 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 little rapey. Little rapey. Little rapey. We not, so we're not arguing that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-mm. This is... But he was always, in our eyes, growing up, he was always super thirsty. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Always super thirsty. And, I, and I'm not saying that shit for, like, the males. I got sisters, cousins, and all the motherfuckers yeah. who would laugh at that shit to female cousins. Yes. Everybody would laugh. They would laugh at that shit yes. because they thought he was super thirsty. Exactly. It wasn't on some rapey, rapey shit. Yeah, like, now, oh, they yeah. might not feel the same way now because looking back at the time, like, oh, that shit was kind of, that shit was, you know what I mean? But the fact that we keep going back into the past and fucking canceling the past, it's like, yeah. bro, what do you think our future is going to do to us, motherfucker? Do you want them to cancel you for some shit exactly. that you didn't think was cancelable yeah. now? Exactly. They're going to exactly. look at that, that shit and say, look at these primitive pieces of shit. Y'all look at the stuff to cancel. They're using yeah. they're using IBM products in their computers to cancel these motherfuckers. Cancel them. IBM, IBM shit that, yeah. you, that you be like, damn, that wasn't cancelable. I didn't think that was cancelable offense. Like, what the fuck? So, but now you cancel because 50 years down the road, mm-hmm. some motherfucker saw you on your TikTok twerking to Cardi B. You can twerk to Cardi B. Do whatever the fuck you want to, but now right. they're ultra, super, ultra, ultimate conservative That's right. in the future. That's now right. they cancel your the fucking legacy conservative. Yeah. because <laughs> you twerking on Instagram to a Cardi B song. That's right. So that's the that's the real problem. That's one of the real problems that I have with this shit is because you're canceling shit from the past that was acceptable then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, if you was going to keep canceling specific things from the past, and that was an acceptable thing in the past. Yeah. You might as well just go ahead and cancel the whole motherfucking past. Yeah. Let's cancel how America was founded. Can't cancel it all. Let's cancel the Trump. Why cancel years. a little bit of shit? Why cancel yeah. a little Let's bit of shit? Let's cancel President's Day. Because they were, Abraham Lincoln is, is hyped up and considered to be some fucking great president of all time. And he was, a, Lincoln freed the slaves. No, Lincoln didn't free the slaves because he was like, well, damn, it's some wild shit that we doing to people. We can't uh, do that thing. Yeah. Nope. Wrong. Nope. nope. Wife owned slaves. Is he on his family, family members on slave. Mm-hmm. The reason why Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves is it was a military move. tactical That's right. move. It That's was right. a tactical move. That's right. If you cut off, which they already did, they cut off the supply mm-hmm. of goods to the South. 
Now all we gotta do now is force these motherfuckers. If we cut the supplies off now, yep. let's cut the labor their labor force off. That's right. Let's free the motherfucking mm-hmm. slaves. And so the feds gonna be like, "Well, shit, nigga, I'm free. I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here." To work in the land. land. Absolutely. And, and, they had the military power. They had the firepower. Agriculture was so the number once, one export right, south. Once, once the money started drying, once the crops started drying, mm-hmm. they couldn't feed the slaves anymore. Yep. So they, they had to the, 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 the surrender and acquiesce to the uh, the union's um, demands and say, hey, free the slaves. They, had to. they didn't have any fucking choice. That's right. They couldn't feed the motherfuckers anymore. Mm-hmm. And they were like, listen, there's too many motherfuckers to bury. You know what I mean? We can't keep feeding these motherfuckers. We don't have enough food for ourselves. So Let these motherfuckers our go. on the front line. It was a tactical move. That's right. So hundred percent a war move. George, uh, not George Washington, but uh, but uh, Abraham Lincoln was some fucking amazing ass president. So if you're gonna cancel what you like slavery, that's fucked up. We got canceled in motherfucking presidents who owned slaves. Uh, Andrew Jackson, you know what I'm saying? George yeah. Washington, all the other motherfuckers cancel the motherfuckers who thrived off of slavery too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Abraham Lincoln, his wife, again, his wife owned slaves. Yeah. He thrived on slavery because he won a war based off the moves he made to free slaves, to stop uh, the goods from flowing from the uh, from the north to the south. You know what I mean? He stopped all the agricultural exports and shit. That he, he thrived, he became, he won a war based off the moves he made, mm-hmm. according to, you know, in reference to slavery. He didn't do that shit because he had a fucking golden heart and he was like, oh, this is the right thing to do. You know what I mean? That was a political move. That was a military move. That was a tactical move. Absolutely. And so if you keep going back into the past and canceling shit that was acceptable then, mm-hmm. you might as well just cancel everything that happened just, before. And, and every, once you start, everything that you're uncomfortable with. Everything that offends you. Because again, those things, that things you. were okay back then. Yeah. Those things were acceptable. Everything that offends then. you. Please go ahead and it's a lot of shit that's unex- Bruh, check this out. If you're talking about Pepe Le Pew's a fucking rapist and he and Pepe Le Pew, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, keeps the rape culture going. He motherfucking yeah, perpetuates, yeah. he perpetuates rape yeah. culture. Why the fuck is Quagmire and Family Guy still going on? What the fuck is that? Giggity. Quagmire was drunk, Giggity. motherfuckers. <laughs> Giggity. Remember his couch? His couch came with restraints. His couch had That nigga whole living room had flip panels like he was Batman. <laughs> and this shit would flip. That nigga had all kind of wild shit. Dildos. Uh, the BDSM. One, the the domination one, shit. The that one shit took Peter in the couch and Peter came out with a ball. Ball dead. The ball dead. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what is going on? I ain't sorry about that, Peter. I ain't <laughs> hear nothing about Giggity. niggas trying to cancel Quagmire. Giggity. Herbert the Pervert. <laughs> my Herbert. old man Herbert the Pervert. Herbert the Pervert. Ooh, where's Chris at? Oh, oh, I need my news. The paper boys get the paper boys. Hey, hey, fuck. Like, why, why, why are those niggas being attacked? That's right. Come on, man. Come on, man. What kind of what type of shit is this? Perpetuating rape culture, man. That's what they say. How about when we gonna cancel Elvis? When we gonna cancel Woody Allen? Check this out right here. We gonna cancel Woody Check Allen. Right here. I'm about to flip yeah. it on you. Reno 911, Lieutenant Dangle. Kept trying Jonesy. Yeah. Jones was like, bro, I'm not gay, bro. Stop yeah, fucking trying real. me, bro. For real. That nigga kept trying him. Kept trying Why niggas ain't cancel? Uh, I, 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 got, I, I got you one better. I got you one better. In fact, I got you two better. I just started two. Go ahead. Nikki Parker from the Parkers. Professor Ogilvy. She, she was around. all that nigga. She, she touched him every episode. She rubbing his chest. She grabbed his butt. She, th- excuse me, that's sexual. That's, 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 that's sexual. That's sexual. That's sexual. That is sexual. At least sexual harassment. That's sexual assault. He touched that was like, she was he, licking on the nigga. He, he was. was. He broke into his house. Come on, bro. And, and then the Come other on, one man. is, what's, what's the old girl? Uh, Helga Pataki. From Hey Arnold. She would stalk Arnold and be behind trash cans and stuff waiting on him. Man, she broke into his man. room. Oh, I'm telling y'all, man. Stop the madness, man, Stop man. that shit, bro. Stop For real, the man. madness. Stop that shit. And so, so, so my second part, right? Uh-huh. So we already know, listen, Pepe Le Pew, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the intention was the nigga was super thirsty, but mm-hmm. it did come off rapey. We not even gonna yeah. stress that. We yeah. not even gonna stress that. But we're not debating that. You know what I'm saying? We're not yeah, debating we're not that. Debating but the nigga that. was also stupid as fuck too because he thought a cat was goddamn skunk. Yeah. So let's just let's put this shit in proper context to the to the character, the context of the character. That's number one. Number two, it's a fucking cartoon skunk. Yeah. <laughs> Are we now going to cancel skunks? <laughs> Straight up. Show of hands. How many human women have been raped by skunks? Show of hands. 
How many rapey skunks have you come how, across? Yeah. I mean, it's a fucking skunk. Wearing a leather jacket, smoking a cigarette, talking about, how are you doing, baby? If you don't want him to be, <laughs> come to me, please. If you don't want him to be as rapey, you just change the character to be, then be like a, a lover man. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he going up to somebody and he not like touchy feeling like grabbing or nothing like that. He like, like, like real suave. Like, he's suave. Or, yeah. You, you know, know like, what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm a cat. I'm not a skunk. He like that. You got a, you got a white stripe. He's, I'm a fucking cat, bro. He right. like, you look right. like a skunk, but you look so beautiful. Like, I ain't never trying to hold you or nothing like that. Was like, I just want to love you. Like, turn a nigga into a beta. Don't fucking end it. Yeah. That's it. You can, that's a, and that's the thing. That's you, you have the power to rewrite the character. Yeah. Why would you just fucking cancel them? Caves under pressure, boy. Origami, you fold under pressure. Holy shit. You fold under pressure, son. You origami. You just change the character. Origami. I think this is like, no, nah, we ain't gonna put him in no more shit. Warner Brothers doing our best. Change him. <laughs> Say, hey, that was an outdated ass look on what that character should be. We gonna change him into somebody who, you know, he go out on a lot of dates and, and you know what I'm saying? And niggas, the shit don't work out for him. It could be like some kind of comedy stick. So, so how come, so how come they haven't canceled Bugs? Bug used to cat call women on, on his, hello, nurse. He, when the, the first episode when him and Lola Bunny was introduced, he forcefully danced with Lola where he had dipped her, he was rubbing her hair and he was touching her ears and he was bopping and all that. I remember that episode when Lola Bunny first got introduced. Bruh. Even in the Space Jam movie one, Lola Bunny, he Googling and drooling off of Lola, he grabbing her, he touching her. He was like, I like the way your jersey fits and he touched, he touched her. I, if that's, if the, I'm, I'm sorry. Is, was right. that an unwanted advance? Listen, man. She Elmer was like, never in your dreams. Yo, Timothy, Sam, these motherfuckers be shooting at everything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas keep the stick. That nigga said, I don't give a fuck, nigga. That nigga, Elmer Fubby, rides that shit. You know I got that stick. You know I like that stick talk. That stick talk. You know I got that stick talk. You know I like that stick talk. That stick talk. You know I got that stick talk. That stick talk. You know I like that stick talk. It's, it's so, it's, it, bro, I'm saying though, bro. It's so many fucking they just they going over stereotypes. They going overboard, man. If, if, they going if you're gonna overboard. change one, cancel them all. If you're gonna cancel one, cancel them all. Cancel them I would just rather you change the character. Okay, man, make him make him to be like he trying to find the right one. The nigga be going on a lot of dates. Tinder don't work for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You're gonna, you gonna do anything, that's bro. True. You just you just trashed it. That's it. Trash Fuck it. it. Come on, man. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like again, if people, so, so what's gonna happen eventually? Again, like you said. This cancel culture is going to continue to grow. Pepper Le Pew gets canceled. They're going to cancel Mickey. Steamboat Willie is the most racist cartoon I've ever witnessed in the history of my life. Come on, man. If you have, you have it, just, and it's still on the internet. Google Steamboat Willie. It is Mickey Mouse's first debut. Please, please, please Google Steamboat Willie. Okay? When are you guys going to cancel that? When are you going to cancel Steamboat Willie? I don't know when the fuck they're going to do that. They, but this is what Disney Plus did. Disney Plus was like, listen, this shit, they, they kept their movies. Like, I ain't taking none of this shit down. Fuck y'all niggas. Yep. But what I do is I put a little disclaimer. Hey, listen, this shit was from a different time. A different era. You know what I mean? There are and, words in here that are not And used. I thought that was, I thought, okay, that's a, that's a compromise. Yeah. It, it's some shit that you be like, oh, looking back on you be like, damn, that was fucked up. You know Terrible. what I'm saying? Terrible. That was some wild shit they were doing back Terrible. then. You know what I mean? But Terrible. it was, that, that was acceptable. In 1945, bro. Yeah, like, when the movie was created. That was whenever. acceptable, bro. Like, yeah, what when, the fuck whenever. are you talking about? And so, for niggas to be like, let's just throw a whole character away. Well, that's how niggas was back then. It was okay to be like, let me grab him, let me come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Because, to be real with you, a lot of the ladies was going with that shit. Yeah. A lot of them felt pressured to go do that shit. Now, that's, right. that's not, that's not, again, let's put the shit in full context. A lot of them felt pressured to go into that shit. Getting married but a lot at 15, of them, 16. Right. A lot of them was going married along with now. that shit. Not, not, not because sex, but married. the mindset, the motherfucking culture, rhetoric, yeah. the culture the, was, the, the social this is what, right, this is yeah. what you need to yeah. do. This is what you need to get you a man. You need to have that man take care of you. need yep. to da 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 So yep. a lot of this shit was based on getting a motherfucking man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what the shit was. Agreed. Having kids. That, that was a lady's Agreed. role back then. Agreed. And so a lot of this shit has changed. You know what I mean? But And, and that's the problem I have with the cancel culture shit. It's, it's like you're not taking into consideration the fucking progress, the, the, the stretch of time yeah. that the shit has changed. It's changed. And it's like, bro, it, took change. It, it, it started at one point and got here, so you got to be like, okay, that's good. Yeah. Admonish 
what the fuck happened back then because that's what it was back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can't then now say, let's look back into some shit and say, all that shit was fucked up and the shit is still here. Cancel what it was. Cancel what it is here. No. You just say, okay, we're in a different time now. Let's try to reform this shit yeah. so it can maybe still exist in today's time. And if it can't, it's just... So, example, slavery obviously can't exist in this time now. Shouldn't oh, and it, shouldn't it existed back not, then. Not in my life. You know what I'm saying? Else, shouldn't but, exist back then. No, never. But shit not like in my life. Jim Crow can't exist now. Shouldn't exist oh, back then. Never. Segregation should, don't, can't exist now. Shouldn't exist back then. Yeah. Shit like that, okay, bet. But Pepe Le Pew, a fucking cartoon character, people created him. Yeah. So you have the power to recreate him. That's right. Right. <laughs> Like that's it, bro. Like it's, it's not out of your control. Like yeah, it's not like it's out of your control. And you know what? You know what? I just had a, a, an analogy. That's like people saying like they're gonna come up with this stupid scientific fact and be like, one out of four people died riding chariots, and they're gonna say, let's cancel chariots. Uh, we got cars. <laughs> we way past cars. that now. We we're past, yeah, we're, we're past, past the evolution of chariots. I don't like, give a fuck about a chariot. <laughs> I, I've it. never ride in a chariot a day in my life, so we're past that. <laughs> we don't but, need to cancel. But without chariots. that chariot, I would not have this car. So you still learn about <laughs> Socrates in your in your fucking in, in, in math classes and history class and shit yeah. like that, right? Yeah, they was fucking little boys in ancient Greece for sure. Like there were entire bathhouses yes. specifically set for the entertainment of young. Anybody men. cancel uh, math yet? <laughs> Cancel the Pythagorean theory because I never have used that shit in my adult life. I'm saying I won't let everybody know that. I'm willing to I'm never, never. If cancel the culture way and cancel that shit, I wouldn't be mad at that. <laughs> I've never used but it. But y'all niggas not canceling. I don't know why I know it, but I've never used it in my adult life. Y'all niggas not canceling philosophy? <laughs> For real. <laughs> so what I'm saying though is like, why are y'all picking the shit and then pick the dumbest of shit to, to cancel. cancel? Yeah. Pepe Le Pew? Mm hmm. Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all, the same niggas who say cancel Pepe Le Pew is the same niggas who voted for uh, Joe Biden. Where's a woman out there named Tara Reid who was like, that nigga sexually assaulted me. That nigga sexually harassed me and he's, on, on, on more than one occasion. And he still made it to the White House. And he still made it to the White House. Yep. Come on, man. If you're going to have this policy, have this zero yeah. tolerance policy. The, have it across the, the board. The same niggas who was like last year when Trump was uh, uh, fumbling the ball on COVID and they was like, look what Andrew Cuomo doing. That's my president. Now look at him. It's, it's up to seven. They gave the number of women are up to seven. Hollywood is so bullshit. They gave that motherfucker an Emmy, bro. I mean, God, I, come on, bro. Come on, y'all. Did, did they retract the Emmy? I don't even know if they. I don't even know if they can. They. <laughs> You gonna come to the house and take that shit? This Listen, is mine. They, they took Reggie Bush's Heisman because his dad got an escalate from because they'll do that to niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga was stupid enough to give it to him. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, y'all to come get this shit in blood. In blood, nigga. for real. My dad had the escalator. I ain't drive around in it. <laughs> well, maybe I did. But I it was did, his. but that's his, it's in man, his, his escalator. It's in his name. Fuck, man. Listen, man. His dad got an escalator. Took, took his Heisman from me. And yo, vacated that Heisman. Yo, Pepe Le Pew. Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas went and canceled a, a cartoon, cartoon, character. cartoon character. It's so much that other things to worry about. Came out, WB could have came out and been like, listen, we're just going to recreate him. Like, he doesn't have to be that anymore. We can recreate the character. Niggas like, nope, I want this nigga gone. I want him gone now. I, I can't handle it. And they canceled a fucking cartoon. Question for the character. Twitter. Question for the Twitter sphere. Have they canceled all the police that murdered Breonna Taylor? Nope. Hmm. Interesting. And they actually, they actually imposed violence upon two innocent people. Have we canceled Andrew Cuomo just yet? Nope. nope. Did you cancel President Biden yet? Nope. nope. Have you canceled President Trump? And he literally told you he grabs him by the pussy. Nope. He literally told you that that's what he does. Nope. And he and he and he said he's been doing that for years. Have Come mercy, on, man. Have mercy, people. Come Just on, have bro. mercy. Come on, Just bro. Make it make sense. That's all we're saying. Canceling. Y'all not doing. Y'all not doing this shit any real justice. You know what it is? It's passive aggressive canceling. It's no, it's just passive aggressive period. Yeah, it's passive. Like you just you choose something that can't really defend itself, right. and then you be like, because I, it, it's a power trip almost. It, 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 it yeah. gives it gives you power. Yeah, it's a power so trip. Know that you influence something, but it's like, what the fuck did you really influence? Because what y'all niggas do when y'all cancel shit is send them to the other corner, and when you get a bunch of niggas who now upset in the same corner, and they're like, right, we got the same enemies that cancel culture, the people on yeah. the left yeah. who canceling shit. You just created another monster. That's exactly what the fuck happened 
in 2016 because the eight years Obama had an office, he was doing this, he was doing that, he was doing that, and he was disenfranchising people. A lot of it, again, this is, uh, uh, delusional motherfuckers, mm-hmm. all, all be a delusional. I, I understand that a lot of them motherfuckers were delusional, but he was. They still felt disenfranchised. They all got in a little corner, and they grew and grew and grew and grew and grew to the point where they saw a nigga who said something and he didn't give a fuck about what he was saying. Said that how he felt, even though ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the shit was absolutely horseshit. It the one thing that he said that was straight up truth. Motherfucking the mainstream media ain't shit, and that is the goddamn honest guys, the honest motherfucking can't, truth. Can't, can't, can't argue with that. Fucking kids, that can't true. argue with that. You know what I mean? That's real shit. Liberal media, so, liberal media will <laughs> tell you how they feel. I think it feels. You got hate in your heart, laid out. Let's get what the fuck happened. <laughs> you got hate in your and heart, and they let that out. shit out, but they let it out through a ballot. Yeah. In 2016, we had that nigga. We got him, and he was here for four years. He fucked up a lot of shit, but. That's what it was. Yep. You you keep canceling motherfuckers, and that's what's going to happen again. That's Can't what happened this time. Can't let it happen, man. They, Can't let it you, happen. You talking about canceling a fucking cartoon, cartoon character because of how he made, how he perpetuates rape culture? Again, the current president. We had two presidents in a row where motherfuckers had sexual assault allegations, sexual harassment allegations, rape allegations. Two presidents in a fucking row. And y'all niggas sitting here canceling a fucking cartoon skunk. Just look, Man, look. If y'all ben Roethlisberger, you still got some hope. Ben Roethlisberger, when you're done Come playing on, football, man. you can run for president. Okay? Them rape cases you got ain't got, they, they will not they matter. They playing y'all, man. They okay? playing y'all niggas. Go man. get them, Big Ben. They Go get them. They playing y'all. Ben Ro- Roethlisberger, 2028. 20, <laughs> They fucking toying with y'all minds and y'all right. niggas are falling for this shit, Robert man. Burger, 2020. Y'all niggas dumb as Go fuck. Ahead, big Why is y'all falling for the trap every single guy? Because critical thinking is not important anymore. Critical thinking is not important anymore. Niggas don't even think anymore, nope. man. They just feel. Everything's feeling now. I don't have to think. I just, I feel. Ah, that shit you feel the same way I feel? Him, bro. I feel the same way you feel. Robber, robber, robber. Let's go in this crowd. And rabble, 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 rabble. That shit got my head hurting, B. Yeah, stupid. Y'all just, niggas don't even think anymore, that man. That didn't make sense. Y'all niggas don't think. Mm, mm, yeah, mm, Pepe mm. Le Pew? Pepe ain't do nothing to nobody, man. Pepe just they like, canceled Pepe was, Le Pew? He was, he was just out there trying to get him some skunk pussy, man. That's all. Pepe ain't do nothing. It wasn't even a fucking skunk. <laughs> he trying to get him some cat for real. Some cat. He, he, yeah, he, he thought it was a skunk. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew might be fucking retarded. He, you know what I mean? Y'all got to cancel a down to He might be retarded. Yo, man. See? Y'all niggas, man, come on, man. Where Peter at when you need him? Peter, motherfucker, they said shit about this. Nope. You can't put that on skunks. That's right. That's going to get it, man. Fuck Peter. Fuck cancel culture. Man, fuck the niggas at WB who couldn't fuck it just all. take any kind of motherfucking ownership and just rewrite just the take, character. Yeah, just take a stance. Just have a backbone. Nothing. Just please just have can, a backbone. Just cancel this shit. Just throw him away. Just throw him away. I know there's hundreds of them. There's thousands of Americans who grew up on this cartoon and they enjoyed it when they were younger. You know what I'm saying? Again, because of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Not because of who they are. As people. Just because Correct. you enjoyed the cartoons in the past, it doesn't make you a rapist. Listen, I was saying, make Pepe Le Pew never it doesn't made make you want to go out assault. and sexually assault somebody. It doesn't, it doesn't make you want to sexually assault somebody. I never watched an episode of Looney Tunes that made me so hot that I wanted to go say, ooh, damn, Buzz, you took a shotgun to the face. Right. Let me go out here and take somebody. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go touch somebody. Because I was going to make me want to fucking run at 85 miles per hour, bro. Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Elmer Fudd didn't make me want to go hunt wabbits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never tried to Yo, put Sam together. Yo, Sam Sam didn't want to make me go shoot ducks and shit. Yeah, I never want to put together an elaborate uh, conco- uh elaborate contraption to catch a roadrunner. Never. You know what I mean? Never. Never, ever. Or paint, never, a, paint, a, paint a hole on a wall. Yeah, I never <laughs> developed a fucking stutter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I never fought Martians. Nope. You know, I, it's just shit like that I just never. didn't do. Yeah. Come on, man. Y'all niggas gotta be for real, man. It, it, it's, they playing y'all, they playing y'all for fools, man. And, and, it, and the shit is working because y'all niggas fall for the trap every single goddamn time, man. They got, I, I don't know. At this point, man, I'm just like, fuck it, bro. Like, you gonna keep telling niggas this shit and they gonna keep doing the same dumb shit. Keep falling for the trap, man. It's like, you know, it, yeah, critical thinking is gone, bro. It's nobody, it's, nobody thinks critically anymore. You, again, the people at WB could have easily rewritten that character. Yeah. Why the fuck do you have to cancel them? Yeah. I have no like 
Because again, if you keep him on, people will be like, well, what the fuck is that? Listen, we rewrote him. He's that shit again. It was acceptable then. Yeah. It is not acceptable now. We rewrote the character. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean Pepe needs to be canceled. Yep. Disney, it just Disney means, did it. Right. It Disney, just means Disney constantly the does character it. needs to be rewritten. Yeah. That's all that means. Disney constantly does it. They made a new Mary Poppins. The old Mary Poppins sounded kind of racist. Sure did. Old Mary Poppins sounded kind of xenophobic. Sure did. So they made a new one and rewrote her ass. Mm-hmm. She was a lot nicer. A lot nicer. You know what I'm saying? They didn't. Lot, they didn't. Lot nicer. Come on, bro. Like, be for real, man. They even did that shit with uh, Maleficent. Yeah. They it gave her some kind of heart. Like, you could have rewrote that character, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all could have did that shit for Pepe, man. I ain't want to. Niggas are just like, fuck it. Let's, 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 let's be super safe and just cancel this shit. It's like, all right. Again, 50 years from now, or, you're going to want people to give you that same motherfucking respect and they're going to mm-hmm. cancel your stupid ass listen. for some shit you did 50 years ago. You'll be listen, sitting in your fucking rocking chair. It's going to be sad. Like, Why the fuck they canceling me? Because you were twerking on camera. That's it. Lady. Ooh, that's what you get. Ma'am, you were showing your motherfucking muscles flexing at the gym, sir. That's it. They canceling your shit now. You. It was. Because you, what you perpetuating is sexual shame. culture. Yeah, or body, you body shaming. shaming motherfuckers yeah. because you got all the muscles. That's it. Everybody fat now. Yeah. And that's body shaming, sir. That's body shaming, you still, sir. you still very, you know, skinny and slim. You had muscles back then. I don't want to see that shit. You no. got it on your your it, Instagram. It offends me. You. It, and it, it offends, offends me. me. As a seventeen hundred pound man, <laughs> I'm fucking offended. I'm offended. Okay. okay. That's it. I, offends me and my small orbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It offends the things in my orbit. That's what. You, that, I'm sorry, sir. I'm fucking offended now I because offended. that 50 year old picture that you had, that's right. where you had a fucking six pack. It's disgusting. Allow, allow us to cancel you, and you're canceled. All your fucking tattoos and your shiny goddamn pets. I'm done. Speaking of, that, are they gonna start canceling like sexual tattoos, like sailor tattoos? Remember, remember, you know, remember, say, you know, what is it? The all the old school sailor tattoos where they had the pinup girls tattooed on them and stuff like that. Man, I don't even know. Are they gonna man. start canceling that too? I don't know. That's I tell you, ma'am. You got fucking ankle tattoos, bro. I'm canceling your stupid That's ass. It. Actually, it's gonna. You know what's gonna be? We gonna go right back to the to the to the seventeen hundreds. Women gonna have dresses from their necks to their ankles, yep. and we are gonna be in here with 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 long sleeve shirts, all this stuff. And again, niggas so, gonna listen to this shit and be like, y'all niggas making arguments for some shit in the past. That, nope. We saying if the shit was horrific, it shouldn't even have existed back then. Correct. But a fucking cartoon character, come on, y'all. Again, Quagmire still exists. Mm-hmm. You got other motherfucking cartoon characters who was real touchy feely, niggas who still exist. Other TV shows where it was women doing that shit. Again, yeah. Monique from the motherfucking Parkers was constantly all over, uh, Professor Ogilvy. Yeah. That was sexual assault, my nigga. That was sexual harassment. Yeah, 100%. Nobody canceled the Parkers. Nope. Come on, bro. Be for real with y'all sales, man. Right. Anyway, man, listen. We up out of here, man. That was the end of this shit. I'm going to end that shit on a motherfucking sour ass note. Fuck y'all niggas, man. I ain't even trying to get no understanding out of this shit. I'm not even trying to get no understanding out of this shit for real, man. Niggas draw okay, that. That's culture. That's toxic, that was, that's man. some nut shit, man. That's, that's, that's toxic, some nut bro. shit. We got to let that go. I'm, I'm done. We got to let that go. For real. I, I'm, I'm leaving like that, man. We got to let that really, go. It's, it's really nothing to say after that shit. Yeah, we got to like, let that shit go, man. Can't, come on, bro. I'm Canceling telling you, cartoons now. Same fucking. Anyway, bro. Listen. Y'all already know what the vibes is, man. We on Twitter, we on Twitter. Facebook, we yep. on motherfucking IG. Yes. We yes, everywhere, yes. man. Y'all niggas know what yes, to do, man. Yes, Go to our yes. motherfucking pages. Um, subscribe to our shit, yes, like our like, shit, follow us. Follow, follow us. us. Also, you know this shit be on anywhere you can get your motherfucking podcast fix at. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. For sure, hit up, hit us up on Apple. That's right. You know what I mean? Hit us up on Spotify. Yeah, we're there on uh, Spotify, definitely. iHeart, uh-huh. TuneIn, uh, Google. Uh-huh. Podbeam, Pandora, mm-hmm. That's right. Podcast Addict, like we're all there. shit. We we're there. there. We're, we we're there. there. Just, we're there. Yeah. You know, we're in the, the community growing, you know what I mean? Again, uh-huh. we got to keep this shit going. We trying to grow. We trying to do bigger and better things, you know what I mean? We going to start, Uh, I know we've been doing a lot of audio, you know what I mean? But we going to start recording this shit yeah, and man. doing a lot of video, putting that shit up on the YouTube. The video's coming. Uh, the video's coming. The, Be the, aware. The, the next quarter, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's going to start where we're going we're gonna to be doing heavy video. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy video. Heavy. Heavy video. We're going to hit you too hard. Heavy on gonna, the heavy. All the other places hard. You know what I mean? Heavy on the heavy. Um, so, uh, so we get the Patreon going and shit. You know what I mean? But, Absolutely. Um, but real shit though, man, listen. Y'all niggas be safe out here, man. It's not safe out here for real. Nah, it's not safe. On so many fucking levels. It's not safe. But keep your mind sharp. You know what I mean? Critical thinking. 
course. Hey, listen, of course. Keep thinking. It's not illegal yet. You know, as they say, not illegal they, yet. They, they want yes. you to think that Pepe Le Pew was the problem. Was the problem? Yeah, I'm not telling society. you, not. No, it's Pepe Le Pew. It's Pepe Le Pew was damn, the problem. That damn skunk, oh, it, boy. It's that, yeah, it's that fucking rapist ass skunk. It's that rapist. That's why skunk. we gotta get rid of him. We gotta kill him. The, gotta the Space Jam Two wasn't gonna work with that nigga in it because well, so he was wasn't. the problem. So it wasn't. Keep no. thinking, y'all. It's not illegal yet. Nope. And with that being said, nigga, I'm Jay. I'm Tyson. It's the Two Four <laughs> Podcast. We out. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Nigga. We out. <laughs>